Hello there. Normally I do re reviews of knives that I've uh, purchased in France or online that I'm particularly fond of. In this particular case, I was recently in France um, visiting the town of Lyol and uh, decided to take a two-day knife making class from Christophe Lacaz, who is an excellent knife maker and he lives about half an hour to the southwest of Lyol in the town of Estang, which is a beautiful medieval town um, right along a river and uh, I had a really good time. This particular knife features a very lovely mammoth ivory crust. So this is the outer surface of the mammoth ivory um, that's been exposed to the minerals in the tundra that it was buried in for several thousand years. And uh, I chose this piece of uh, ivory because I like the brown colors, I like the scarring and the character of, uh, of the mammoth ivory. The um, blade material which I also picked out is uh, stainless Damascus from Damasteel and um, the blade pattern, if I can get the reflections to be right, is called the Eye of Odin. Um, it's got some circles kind of like a raindrop and then uh, long lines as it um, gets toward the blade surface. So the uh, class when we started out, uh, Christoph had me practice the file work. So he sh had gave me an example um, spring in this case with a uh, uh, welded on mouche or bee in this case and uh, it was just smooth and he showed me step by step uh, how to do the pattern. In this case it was fairly simple. Um, basically you took a round file and you made the small round file indents about halfway down the spring at even intervals which he marked on the blade for me on one side and then you turned it over in the fixture and did the same cutouts on the other side. And then you took the spring and you took a triangular file. Let's see if I can get in the middle here. My skills are a little rusty. You took a triangular file and then made the little notches every so often on either side of where you had done the round cutout and then again went to the other side made the little triangular notches Let's see if I can make sure it's in focus on the other side and then you go back and you kind of clean up and round the corners with a file and in the end what you're left with is a spring that kind of has a direct decoration that looks like a vine with little thorns on either side. This particular piece, since it was my first time, took me about 45 minutes to do the spring. He then gave me the real piece and had me do the actual spring. And this one also took me about 45 minutes because I was a little bit nervous and didn't want to mess it up. And um, this is the one that counted. And so I did the, uh, the file work and when he was satisfied with uh, what I had done, then he marked out the uh, B shape on the uh, end of the spring or the moosh and uh, showed me how to do the filing on that and then I completed that part of it. And when that was complete, then we picked out the um, handle material and uh, he cut that out on a bandsaw to approximate shape and thinned it so that it was fairly symmetric on both sides. And then uh, we drilled um, the holes using a pattern and um, I riveted the uh, blind pin that holds the uh, scales or the liners to the uh, mainspring that's hidden 
um, underneath, under in this area right here on the back. And that one blind pin then kind of allows you to rotate the scales. Then you could mount um, the uh, spring and the uh, forward pin pivot um, together using a uh, set of temporary pins which have a pull tab so that you can take them apart and reassemble them. And then I uh, used his uh, flexible belt sander to uh, start to shape the handles so that they would fit perfectly down to the liner shape um, and down to the spring without going too far so he kept a close eye on me when I did that. Um, when that was completed uh, then we took the next, next assembly part of the um, mounting the uh, blade and then doing the final fitting. Now the blade when I had uh, come back the second day he had uh, cut out the blade material from the blank that I had picked out to the approximate shape, ground it um, to the uh, outer dimensions and heat treated it and it was just in the process of cooling um, when we started doing the handle mounting the second day. Um, due to the limitations of time, um, he did all of the grinding on the blade since that takes a couple of special grinding fixtures and eyeball, but I was able to stand right next to him while he did all of the grinding um, on the blade and the uh, um, polishing of the blade and then finally the uh, etching in the acid and the stop bath to stop the etching so that you can see the uh, um, Damascus pattern um, on the blade. And then he did most of the final fitting and polishing uh, again just due to limitations of time I was leaving that evening and we were running a little bit late and so um, he did the final, the final polishing and fitting of uh, how the blade fits um, and uh, make sure that the, the knife closes properly. There's a small piece on the blade here which hits the inside of the spring and when you close the knife it makes sure that the, uh, where am I? Make sure that the tip actually sits into the handle here fully so you can file that internal piece in there till the blade sits deeper and deeper into the um, into the handle and it doesn't catch if you're getting it out of your pocket and then we also adjusted the pins for the final pin tightening and make sure that the blade was centered in the uh, in the handle so the uh, final result was just a lovely knife that I'm very proud of. I had a hand in making it. I did all of the file work myself, um, which is a lot of the beauty of these knives. Um, I was able to see and uh, be part of um, the final fitting and assembly. And I'd certainly recommend a class like this if you're uh, ever in the area and have a uh, day or two to uh, try something like that. It's very rewarding and it really gives you an appreciation for the skill of a master who knows all of the aspects of fitting, assembly, and um, heat treating of the steel and you're left with something that you can be very proud of.